By the end of this video, you'll be able to use Audacity to record computer audio. Let's get started. So let's say you would like to record the audio that is coming from your computer. This is also known as recording desktop audio. So whatever audio is coming from your speakers or from your headphones, you would like to capture that and record it in Audacity. So in order to do this, you wanna have Audacity open and you're going to click on audio setup near the center. And once I click on that, I can click on host and I'm gonna change this to Windows Wasabi. If you have an older version of Audacity, you will want to go up to edit, preferences, and then once this opens, you can click on devices and then the interface, make sure the host is Windows Wasabi. So this is where you would find the settings on an older version of Audacity. So there's one more step in making sure that you can capture the audio coming from your computer, and that's to click on audio setup. Now, right now I have headphones plugged in and I found that this is the best way to record the audio using Audacity. So right now I need to go to recording device. So if you have headphones plugged in, you can click on headphones. If you do not have headphones, you wanna click on speakers. So right now I have headphones, so I'm gonna click on that. So now I'm ready to record my computer audio in Audacity. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on record, and then I'm going to find the file that I'd like to record, and I'm gonna go ahead and put, hit play. And so you can see I was able to record the audio coming from my computer speakers. And you wanna make sure that whatever you are recording, that you have the rights to record that either maybe copyright free music or that you have the copyright to record that. So you'll notice that there's some silence at the beginning of this audio file. So I want to remove that. So I'm gonna click on the selection tool, go ahead and select that audio and then click on delete on my computer. Now you can go ahead and edit that file any way you would like in Audacity. You can apply different effects to the file. You can select the file and add different effects. One that would be good for most audio is to click on volume and compression and then amplify. This way I'll be able to amplify this so that it is louder. You can see that was able to make the waveform louder and it'll sound better when I hit play. If you're happy with the file, you can go up to file, export, and then you can export this as an MP3 or a WAV file. So two quick things you wanna keep in mind when you're recording in Audacity is that the output volume of the file you're playing will affect the recording. So let's say I'm playing this file and I have the volume really high or really low, it will affect how that file is transferred into Audacity. So whatever volume you're using with your file will affect the volume in the recording. One other thing that I notice in Audacity when I'm recording PC audio is that I usually have to disconnect my USB microphone when I'm doing this. For some reason, this interferes with the communication of the audio file and Audacity. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. You might need to unplug your USB microphone. So you now know how to record desktop audio using Audacity. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely want to learn how to edit audio in Audacity. I have another beginner's guide on how to get started using Audacity so you can get the most out of the software. I'll put a link to that video here.